Hi everyone, it's Nitika Chopra here with another video. And today I want to talk to you about something that is really important to me. And I think you're going to find it really helpful for you as well. So if you've been following me for a while, you've heard me probably talk about the Love Entourage. And it's a group coaching program that I happen to have. But honestly, the way that it started is what I want to talk to you about today. I want to help you all see that you can create your own love entourage and I actually highly encourage it for different times in your life where you might need some extra support. So when I was going to the doctor, it was like two years ago, I think, um, I, I don't like going to the doctor. I have to go to the doctor a lot because I have psoriasis and I have arthritis and I just am on a bunch of medication and it's challenging so I have to see a lot of different specialists and go to the doctor quite often and I was going to a new doctor actually Dr. Frank Lipman who's one of our contributors and um, who is you know become a friend he's a wonderful wonderful person but before I met Dr. Lipman he was just another doctor he was just another place that I had to go to be vulnerable and I really wasn't feeling like doing that. I was like, oh my God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be in front of him and show him my skin, which was flaring up and just like be vulnerable in front of him, right? So I decided to create a love entourage. And what that was, was one of my best friends, Jill Brock and my mom. And I asked them to come with me to the doctor's office to make it fun, make it light, and for us to go out and have a meal together afterwards. So this was something, although it might sound super easy and like, oh, I do that all the time and I have friends around me all the time, this was different. Because I am a person who has a lot of friends, I have a huge community, I love being social, but to go out and ask specifically for people in your life to support you when you're going through a challenging time can be a lot more difficult than we realize. So I had been, you know, dealing with my health and kind of going through the motions of it for a really long time and not really, you know, asking for that support and just kind of going through it and going through it. But I realized that if I really tapped into like what I wanted in my heart, I really just wanted someone to take care of me that day. I was feeling really raw and really vulnerable and emotional just because of all the different things in my past that had happened in my life and I just honestly wanted someone to hold me emotionally so normally I would have just kept going and just been like okay well it's fine like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter that I feel that way because you know I have this condition I need to just get over it I have so much stuff to do and I've been dealing with this for you know 14 years or 20 actually no it's been like 23 years now. Um, so, you know, I've been dealing with this for a long time. I can't even remember how long it's been. And I just need to like shut up and just go to the doctor's office and get it over with, you know. And something in me, just in the sense of like wanting to be more vulnerable and wanting to own my own feelings more and wanting to take care of myself more and practice more self-love, I just knew that like that wasn't really going to serve me. That if I pushed through going to the doctor's office and I pushed through being there and doing it all on my own, I would leave probably pretty devastated just over the emotion of feeling alone and feeling unsupported. A lot of times I find that my friends and myself, we're so busy and we're such tough, strong people. And I live in New York City, so you know, for us it's like a badge of honor to be tough and be independent. But we end up isolating ourselves because of that. And then after we've isolated ourselves, we're resentful. So what I want you to do this week is to create a love entourage. Find something in your life. Find an area of your life where you're feeling like you need more support. Whether it's like maybe around dating. Maybe the next time you have a date or the next time you go you know, to put yourself out there, you want to have a little matchmaking party and you want to have your girlfriends over and have them you know create your profile with you and do something really fun around creating a dating profile online or getting you ready for your first big date after maybe a long break creating a love bubble a love entourage around those experiences or maybe you're working on a new website a new part of your career and you're scared and you're terrified and you're just like I don't want to do this alone like I know I can do it alone I know I'm strong I'm smart I'm amazing but I don't want to do this alone. Even if it's for one afternoon, I'd love to have somebody sitting here and just 
let me talk through and walk through all the different thoughts that I have in my mind about my new business and my new career that I'm excited about, but I'm also really scared about, right? So do you get it? Like just creating this love bubble around you. And it's actually really empowering. Although we think it's powerful to do everything on our own, it's way more powerful to ask for help and be willing to be vulnerable, okay? So I'm always talking about love and vulnerability is the key. It's the name of the game. So how vulnerable are you willing to be this week? I want you to leave me a comment below and let me know, is there an area of your life where you could be more vulnerable and how are you going to create a love entourage around that? Leave it in the comments below, maybe tag your friends or you know put their names below that you're gonna actually call out and use. Let me know, I wanna know and I wanna be a part of that journey. So if you're feeling the love, like this video, share it, do what you gotta do, and I love you so much. I'm so happy we get to spend the morning together. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.